Standing Rock say the pipeline threatens safety of the water and ancient burial grounds. Cor Harlan, live in downtown Portland now, where a rally in support of the tribes is underway. Cor? Morning, Ken. Now, this is actually an effort to defund uh, the bank that has provided some funding for the Dakota Access Pipeline right here. This is at Pioneer Courthouse Square. This is at noontime here. You see the sign there, Defund DAPL, Dakota Access Pipeline here. This rally is going to get started at the Pioneer Square here in just a few minutes and move down to Wells Fargo, where I'm told people will be withdrawing money from the bank and closing accounts in protest of Wells Fargo, uh, Wells Fargo's loans that they've made on behalf of the project. Now, you mentioned veterans heading to North Dakota a little bit later today. Two of them left from Portland early this morning, hoping to peacefully support tribal efforts to keep a pipeline from running through sacred Indian burial grounds. Sergeant Francisco Cortez finished packing and loading his SUV with everything he'll need for as long as it takes this morning. He is one of the Portland area veterans heading to an encampment near Cannonball, North Dakota, answering the call of Native Americans to help resist the Dakota Access Pipeline and preserve Native American burial areas. Could you imagine going to go visit your, your grandma? and see it, a tractor on it, digging it out because somebody wants to put a sidewalk or a pipe? Where's the humanity? Francisco says they are going as a sign of unity, not to scare anyone. The government, he says, is once again trampling the wishes of Native Americans, who he says do not want a pipeline through their ancient lands. And he says today's problem for the Native Americans will be tomorrow's problem for many others living along the Missouri River. This is not going to become an issue until the oil, the pollution goes downstream and starts to hit the mainstream average Joe Smith. As he leaves Portland this morning, he's leaving with a happy heart, proud to be coming to the side of his Native American brothers and sisters. In Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. Uh, back, here at, uh, back here at Pioneer Courthouse Square where the rally has begun. We did get a hold of Wells Fargo for their comment on this today. They say uh, that they have provided loans for less than 5% of the pipeline project. And they also point out that they have made a considerable number of loans in support of renewable energy resources such as solar and wind as well. They wanted that to be part of the record here as these folks go to Wells Fargo Bank today protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline. Ken? All right. A uh, lot of uh, opposition to that pipeline from all over the country right now, including veterans from this area. Uh, we'll be following that uh, protest later on this yep. afternoon. Thank